This video shows how to attach finding charts, edit and submit the README file, and how to submit the final set of the bees and alert ESO that all phased material has been submitted. It assumes that you have already prepared all your OBs. So first of all, after we've prepared the final set of OBs, there will be a set of template OBs for Vircam that we do not need to submit. In order to not confuse ourselves, we can create a new folder, selecting the Run and then Folder, which will create a new folder at the very end. Select it, press Enter, and, and change the name of the folder to Templates. In this template folder, we will copy all our template OBs, select the first one, keeping the shift and then selecting the last one, and then right mouse button, cut and paste into the templates folder. This has put all the templates OBs into this folder. Now all that we, are, we have left are the OBs which have complete observation descriptions and targets, which are indicated with these blue tick marks. We have reviewed our observing strategy, which is this described here in the schedule view, which has time delays for the time link to bees or uh, contribution to groups and user priorities. Then uh, we can attach finding charts. To attach finding charts, select an OB and then finding chart, attach finding charts. Navigate to the directory where the finding charts are and then select one or more finding charts. To select more finding charts, keep the shift down and select the next file and then open. This, in this case, attaches two finding charts to this OB. And we can see these finding charts with their names here. And the number here indicates the number of finding charts. For Vircam, actually the finding charts for the public service are not necessary, so we can detach or clear finding charts. So select the B which has finding charts and then clear finding charts to remove them. We can see that now the finding charts have been removed. In order to prepare a README file, select the Run view and then either view Edit README uh, from the icon or from the menu view Edit README. This will all open the README file, which has several fields which can be edited. In order to edit these different tabs, just simply select the tab and then type inside. Several of these fields are mandatory and they will be indicated with the red uh, triangle. Also, the in, in this principal investigator's email has to be filled in and the estimated total execution time. Finally, the checklist with some answers to some questions has to be filled in. In order to find out what is the total execution time, the one can select all the OBs for which the total execution time wants to be computed and then from reports execution time. This will open a report where all these OBs will be uh, listed with their total execution time, total exposure and execution time. Execution time includes all the overheads. So after we have edited the README, we are happy with the README file, we can submit it by selecting README file check in, which will check in the README. Now I can only view README, I cannot anymore edit it. So if I open it now, it is not possible anymore to type in. So after submitting README, I can su submit also some OBs. To submit OBs, simply select OBs and check them in. Answer yes to the question and this will check in the OBs. It will verify them also on the server and uh, locally before checking them in. Finally, check-in report will return that the check-in has been successful. To check in OBs, the OBs that have been checked in have this grey lock symbol and are greyed out. To check in OBs that belong to a container, select the container and then check in.